Well, to some people it may seem surprising that a bicycle race would take place in Belgium so soon after the events of yesterday, but this is Belgium, it is a bike race, it is what they do, it is their normality. And many in the peloton feeling that if possible this was the best way to respond to what has happened in the country. It's an excellent workout and a, an excellent opener to the Flanders section of the season, a real good warm-up for something like the, uh, the Tour of Flanders. Um, but I think the weather is key for a race like this. 35 seconds to gap from the head of the race down to the chasing group. Van Melsen is fully committed here. He has no choice. Thwait, Durbridge, Maas, Gatto, Vliegen. This is the, uh, the chase group, and they're getting very, very close to our leader, Kevin Van Melsen. Brave effort from him, but he, of course, will end up empty-handed. Well, he's definitely outnumbered, isn't he? And uh, the game is basically up, but it's been a gargantuan effort from him. And finally, he relents at the front of the race. And uh, Van Avermaet now on the attack. Greg Van Avermaet launches an attack. Nicholas Maas tries to go after him. And this is it, as Van Avermaet throws down the gauntlet. It's all or nothing time. Ten seconds the gap, though, for Van Avermaet. What a race this is into Waragam. It's a straight pursuit match at the moment between Greg Van Avermaet and half the field here in the Dwarsdorf of Landeren. But if, if he's going to win this race, he's going to do it the hard way. And uh, the odds very much against him here. But he's decided that he wants to try and do, do it on his own today. He wasn't going to take a chance against a rider like Gaviria. Van Avermaet now. Round the corner to the finishing straight and I don't think he's going to do it it's a big big sprint for the line and Fernando Gaviria now comes towards the front for Etik's quick step Trek have got riders in there Bonifacio's in there Nizzolo up towards the front as well up towards the line desperately close as they cross the line and it's a win I think for the rider from uh, Lotto Sudal was it over the line first there's our winner who timed it to perfection. Look how close this finish was. I thought Cockard was going to get it on the line, but he has just been pipped. And uh, De Boussera there, I think will have taken many people by surprise with the way he suddenly burst forward inside the last 150 metres before snatching the victory right at the last. Half a wheel ahead of Brian Cockard.